Hello, we are going to teach about the quality control in building process at the landwork unit. This unit is very important during the building process because it's the first one that we will configure the other units. Here we call begin by the parcel identification. The first unit we have to control during the building <coughs> process is the landwork. Inside the landwork is just the identification of the parcel depending where the parcel is. In this picture we can see where the parcel is situated in a little village. In some cases you can advise, you can have a parcel with a different characteristics between a, in an urban area. The identification in these cases is just from a geographic and uh, urbanistical dates that will configure the real situation and the identification of our parcel in north urban areas. In this picture, we can identify the parcel inside a building area. In this, uh, in this case, we will have a street, a number, and the characteristics of the building neighbors that will configure it, that will identify exactly where our parcel is. We can observe at this picture too how our parcel had in the past a previous construction that we had to make a demolition. The previous existences when we are in, uh, in, rur in rural areas is, are in some cases defined by facilities. Previous fa facilities that are inside the agriculture or the vegetation that you can find in the parcel. We can see here like a previous uh, facility about water, just the trees or the vegetation that previously is in our parcel. We have to take out and prepare for our land work. In this case, we have a little demolition and the machine is just crashing all the demolition following the prescriptions of the project demolition and just carrying out all the uh, rubbish. In the case where we are in a, a urban area, the verifications previously to the land work has to pass for a superview for a revision of the building neighbors. When you take out, when you make a demolition of a building, you need to support you need to reinforce the building's neighbors in order to be sure there is no danger for them. You are going to take out a building and you need to support the same strength that the previous building were making to the neighbors. At this picture we can see well, like a reinforce steel is supporting all this facade and in this one we can see like demolition just conserve the original beams from the previous building before the complete demolition. It will be until the end of the construction and it will sue all the buildings and support the presa of the building neighbors. Like previous verification is very important too to make a fancy, a closing of the area where we are going to work. It's very important to save the insurance of the area where we are going to be working just yes, with a closing and uh, a protection, mm, visual protection, don't let in people from the street just going inside our work. It's important to take care about the signs, all the identification signs that will reserve, that will uh, remember to all the people is not allowed to go inside the work and the people who is allowed just to save their helmets or the insurance they have to use during the building process. Like a last uh, previous verification is just to be sure all the provisional services are included in the work. Just provisional like a toilet, uh, places for lunch or, or the place to change the, for the workers that will serve all the uh, people who will take part in the, part, in the work. The first uh, uh, activity we have to do is just a previous reframing. It, is, it, it means a previous mark, a previous reframing in the parcel. It's a previous perimeter mark from the building and it has not to be for all the surface. It's just only the perimeter of the building that we are going to construct. If we are lucky and our surface of the parcel is so bigger than the size of the, bil of the building, we will use all the perimeter area for rubbish, for land work, for all our work. Then, after this previous reframing, we will make a cleaning excavation. That's only a superficial cleaning, about 10 centimeters, that will uh, give to us the enough in information we will need. And just only taking out a superficial uh, phase of the land that uh, will help to us to make the next reframing. The parcel excavation is just one unit we have to do when our parcel is not on the level that we need to have. 
In other cases, the partial excavation is recommended when we need to find the level resistance for our foundation. The partial excavation is divided by a process, a program previously to the excavation. It's divided by lots, by parts, depending on the characteristics and depending on the resistances of this. At this picture, we can see how the parcel is excavated until the second level, because we are going to make two levels after round in order to put on our two levels of garage in this building. The access ramps has to be controlled, controlled by its situation and controlled by its inclination. In some cases, our parcel can need an addition to add all the land that we need to, uh, to arrive to the, mm, to the level of the land, we have to compact this. We have to compact with um, a machine until you will arrive the resistance you need for the next foundation. The land identification is an important uh, operation the work director may do during the building process. It's just with senses like sight, like smell, like touch, that you have to be sure the identification of your land is the same that the information you have in the geotechnical study. Land identification means that you have to be sure the levels, the struts and the characteristics of the land you have in your parcel are the same than the characteristics are explained in the geotechnical study. Reframing. After our parcel is completely ready, we need the reframing of the foundation. Our parcel is finished, our parcel is on level, our parcel is clean. Now we reframe the mass of the foundation who is projected in our building. Reframing of a superficial footing, like this one, is a longitudinal footing or foundation excavation. After the reframing of our foundation, we will mark the measurings, we will mark the axis, and just begin with the foundation excavation. Just taking out the land that configurate our foundation. We will use machines, we will use all the methodology, all the tools that will help to us to make a correct excavation from the foundation sizes. The foundation excavations needs for sure a machine and a lorry to carry all the land we are going to extract. Foundation excavation is helped by a standard sizes of spoons, machine spoons, of the uh, extracting uh, land. Foundation excavation has a last side, like you can observe in this picture, with the superficial footings, individual singles, until you will connect them by uh, footings, uh, by beams that connect each footing. Foundation excavations can have different sizes and different positions. The beams that connect each footing in some cases are straight or inclinated depending on the characteristics of our future building. The last verification is a very important characteristic to control during the building process. Last verification means to make a last superview of all the operations we just made during the land work unit. Last verification includes the cleaning of the bottom of the foundation, cleaning the pieces of roots, rubbish or something you can find in the foundation. This picture we can see like different kind of lands configured different views of foundation excavated. In everywhere of them we have to be all our land work completely clean and ready for the next unit. Thank you very much.